erratically. All right. So these, this is all commented out, but this is still part of the code. This is saying user choice prompt, do you choose rock, paper, scissors? User computer choice equals math.random. And that prints out a number between 0 and 1, I believe which is why we have this if the computer choice is less than 0.34 the computer choice is rock and if it is less than or equal to 60.67 it's paper and otherwise if it's above 0.67 it's scissors What if the scissors were really just a function? That would be very confusing in that case, kinetic. <laughs> be very confusing indeed. All right. Compare function. Choice one, choice two. Choice one is equal equal to choice two. The result is a tie. Else if choice one equal equal there's so many equal signs, is equal to rock and the choice two is equal to scissors, rock wins, else paper wins. So if choice one is rock, then paper would win or rock would win. There is no outcome where scissors wins because it's a rock. Right. Then, if choice one is not rock, if it is indeed paper instead, um, choice two, okay, oh, interesting, that should be rock there. Uh huh, I messed that up. Return paper wins, else return scissors wins. Because we've already covered the whole, if it's a tie, that's what you do, it's right at the top. All right. Oh, hello! Welcome! Chemos, chemo Celtic and Swizzlefish and Spooniverse. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> oh, guilty for. Well, I'm only doing some stuff on Code Academy today. Um, the actual objective. Oh, hello, 33 people. <laughs> um, okay. Brain. Sorry, I'm a little tired today, so. So I'm kind of slow on everything. Um, but the whole point for me right now is I actually want to learn C Sharp. This is teaching me JavaScript, um, which kind of teaches me the general concept of programming, but doesn't give me all of the same terminology, and it doesn't quite function the same. Which is why I have this handy dandy handsome gentleman. Calvin, where are you? Can you wave? No. No, he, he's incapable of waving right now. But Calvin knows C Sharp. And so he's um, he's helping me. Um, exactly, exactly, Celtic. Um, it's the JavaScript. It's just kind of the introduction for me, as far as how everything goes. Um, oh, <laughs> you're welcome. I'm glad I pronounced it properly. I, I try. Uh, I try not to be too American and mispronounce everything. Except papaya. I like Calvin has got me saying papa yes because it's hilarious. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, the JavaScript is just to get me started because I have literally, this is my first time ever doing anything programming related. Normally, when we're making video games, I do the art, I help design. Calvin does some of the art, he helps design. And then we do, you know, we do everything together uh, except. He does all of the programming, and that's dumb. I want to be able to program, and it will even if I don't program actively in the game, knowing how to program and how a game works behind the scenes is helpful to everybody because I will not say stupid things or assume that things work in a different way than they do, and all kinds of stuff. Anyhow, okay, I'm pretty sure I've caught up on exactly where I was when I left off on Friday before I had to leave for the weekend. Um, so, let's see. 
see how badly I messed this last part up. I feel like it should be simple since it looks like I'll be following the same kind of statements here. All right, lastly, what if choice one is scissors? Given choice one is scissors, one, or A, not one, oh my. If choice two is equal to rock, then rock wins. And if choice two is equal to paper, then scissors wins. Under your old code, use the same structure as the past two exercises and finish off your function. Oh, so exciting. Okay. Ha, yeah. Um, the, but the main reason why I want to learn C sharp is because that's what Calvin is using. Um, and we're currently we're making games inside of Unity. Um, so it's a it's a more approachable thing. Once yeah, once I understand the yeah, exactly. Once I understand the fundamentals of programming, it's easier to learn any language I want. Okay. This doesn't need to be, I want another else if statement right here, I do believe. Um, trying to keep this, I think this is where I want this. Bloop. Else if choice. One equal 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 equals. I'm also really horrible at typing. <laughs> I don't know why, but my hands get a mind of their own every once in a while. So be prepared for some horrendous typos, and I'll also probably forget semicolons half the time. So yell at me for that. I need to get scolding when that happens. Scissors. Hmm. Variables, user choice. Okay, wait. First, I've got to finish out what I'm doing here. Then it's giving me instructions to do more stuff later. Okay. Loop. Else if choice one equals scissors. If choice two equals rock I have to create the curly brackets at the same time otherwise I miss one so that's why I'm making them both at the same time keep causing problems for myself all right return rock wins do, do, do. rock is the winner Hello, robotic. Yeah, um, this is, this isn't really quite, I'm not doing this so much because I feel like I need help from the internet. It's more like I kind of, I want to be somebody's running buddy. I know that sounds kind of strange, but I want to encourage people to actively learn how to program because I think everybody's better off for it. Um, and so since I'm learning, right now from scratch it, it occurred to me that people never live stream it and we're on this huge live stream kick like the the nah, never mind um i love live streaming i think it's a fantastic thing and i realized nobody's ever really live streamed learning to program and it puts people out there in a way that i think most people don't want to be because i'm basically I'm derping around. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes because I'm learning. I'm, I'm not used to anything that I'm doing. And it's going to not be particularly good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to feel good about myself as a accomplished programmer because I don't know what I'm doing. And a lot of people don't want to be in that position publicly. And 
since I make video games and I love video games and I want more people to be able to make video games or I mean you can use programming for other things too but what? I know imagine that Calvin <laughs> using programming for something other than games what? it does it does indeed kinetic but I've also every time I've done this so far this is my like eighth or ninth time streaming while I learned to code I've been doing this for a little over a week now everybody has been amazingly helpful and amazingly kind and just super awesome return return alright so Right, okay. I'm just looking at what I was doing previously. Um, because suddenly it felt really weird. And it kind of does because here I have rock here and scissors here. But it's the opposite function. It's I mean, it's already been covered kind of, but it has. So it's okay. Something is missing, I think. Oh, hey, Yellow Raccoon. Thanks for coming by again. Hello, Hobbs. Do you need to say hello to the internet? Hello, internet. This is Hobbs. He likes to eat wires and meow incessantly while I'm dreaming. Right, Hobbs? <laughs> All right. Okay. Turn pay for wins else. Return. Okay. If they're not both scissors, right? So therefore, there's only rock or paper that it could possibly return as a function, or uh, it could possibly return. A string, except this is inside the parent or the commas. They're not commas. Oh my gosh, quotation marks. I'm tired. Hello, internet. <laughs> and Spartan comes. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Ivan, the secret is to either turn off, hide, close all those things or use a different computer thing. Yeah, because the NDA stuff is important. You can't you can't accidentally disclose that. It's bad stuff. Oh Jonathan Blue, he's so sweet. This is like he keeps retweeting this every time every time he sees it. Um, he's retweeted me a couple times. He's he's awesome. That's very cool, Tim. Oh, Adam Atomic is talking about rock, paper, scissors right now? <laughs> well, that's a coincidence, if I ever heard of one. Huh. Interesting. All right. Paper wins, otherwise, because it's scissors. No. Not paper wins, scissors wins. That's what was looking weird. Okay. I'm like, paper can't win. There's too many paper wins here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to use the variables user choice and computer choice. Uncomment the first lines by deleting the stars with thingies. Bam! Just uncommented. Variables are now active and can be called. Call your function and pass in user choice and computer choice as your two arguments. All right. 
So um, what does that mean? I know that that means that I need to somehow turn this into this or or that or this one and this into this. I'm trying to remember how that works. These are going to be I need to call the functions. So how would I do this best? <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. I can't remember how to do these things. Okay. You choose rock, paper, or scissors. Prompt. I'm just. Okay. Kelvin, I need to talk to you. Because I am confused about a certain thing that's happening. I'm not quite sure what I'm actually doing, but I just was reading over this and I'm confused. I have this prompt here that says, do you choose rock, paper, or scissors? Mm -hmm. Right? So that's... Returns rock, paper, or scissors. Assuming that that's what somebody that actually in. types in. And it just returns whatever it is that somebody else says. Right? Okay. Because otherwise it makes no sense. Because there's no nothing specifying which is which. Okay. <sighs> All right. So when I'm calling these functions, I know you like yelled at me a whole bunch when I was trying to do things with functions earlier. Um, it, no. Well, you didn't like not yelling, but you were very mm. stern with me <laughs> about my use of these things. Um, it's saying to call the function and pass in user choice and computer choice is my two arguments. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure, am I supposed to, when it says to call a function, it doesn't tell me what kind of calling I'm doing. There's only one like, way to call is it. Is it console log that they want me to do? No, that's like, call, that console log, log is a function. Right. You send console log computer plus computer choice. You're sending it a string. Okay. So you need to call compare and send it choice one and choice two. Call compare, send so, it choice one as user choice and choice two as Did they tell choice. you to put the function here in the middle? They told me here? to do that, yeah. Okay. They That's fine then. voided and out this stuff and told me to make everything else underneath it. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, so, so this is, functions are separate from your main chunk of code. When, when the program goes blah, 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 and it gets down to here, it's going to go, oh, yeah, okay, whatever, and ignore that. Oh, all okay. right. All right, so... I thought this would need to go up on the top, but it's maybe it doesn't around. need to in JavaScript. No, no, no. It doesn't, maybe it just doesn't matter. Does it need to in C Sharp? No. No, as long as it's different in C Sharp. Right. JavaScript is a thing. Don't worry about it. So... So where wait okay so so what's gonna happen here? So what what's you, what are you what are you trying to accomplish? I need right now I have created the entire rock paper scissors command uh -huh. in not command function. the function uh -huh. in here inside of this if else if else if else. If, if, if. All right, where's the beginning of the function? This okay. is the, these are the two things I need to put into it. Okay, where's the end of the function? No, nope. end of the function. You're, you, you declare the function up here. Oh, I forgot a semicolon. Right? Mm hmm And where does the function end? It ends all over the place. There's multiple endings. Mm -hmm. well, I'm okay. confused what you mean. I don't know what an end is. How about that? All right. So not where it returns, but what is what is the... Give me the, the top starting line of the function and the ending line of the function. It starts when I say, here, this is the function. 12. And, and then it's over because it does all this other stuff inside of it later. No. I don't know. You <laughs> end on line 37. 37. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. Right. That makes sense. Actually, it Everything should be. Everything <clears throat> between there 
uh, between the beginning and line 34 now doesn't get touched by the computer. The computer doesn't run. Right. Anymore. None of that has been called anywhere. Right. So you need to call it. Right. Yes. For the same way you're calling console.log, you need to call compare. Do you remember how to do that? But to do that, I should just do this, right? With whatever I want inside of it. But the things that I want inside of it are two other variables, yeah, right? See, look, you put one of those variables into console.log as a part of the whole string. So just do that. So choice one is supposed to be which one? It doesn't matter. They're interchangeable. Oh, okay. I think. Well, it's going to tell you which one. There. That's it? That's all you I have to do it. to call it? Yep. It's just so simple. Yeah. I feel like it needs to be more complicated no, than prompt that. Prompt and a console.log, those are functions that you're calling that are part of JavaScript. And this is a function you have made. You call them exactly the same way. Okay. That probably will work, but uh, well, it's bad. It's bad put to written poorly. Um, what do you mean? You so need to explain like to me the, what's written poorly. So this will probably work. Right. Um, you should go through each one of these things and then skip over all of this and then do this. What you'd want to do is declare this first and then do all these. Why? Because it's a good design practice. Because you're going to make a mess if you were writing a bigger piece of code. Why would it be a mess? Um, be See, it's really See, hard I'm to explain. Sorry. <laughs> I know, I, I, I'm just saying, if you were writing more code than this, you were writing a big program, right. this would be a total mess. Okay. You would get lost, you'd get confused, what's a function, where is a function located, you want to declare them all at the top, declare all your global so variables at the top. Yeah, so, all right, so, so the only thing that makes this separate from this, like this is another if else if uh -huh. stuff uh -huh. going on here. Should that also be happening above all these other things? No, it needs to happen in order. So how so why is that in order? Why is this out of order by being below these things instead of above it? Because it's a separate function that you're declaring. It's not a part of the stream of code. Do you understand? Your stream of code goes boop, 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 boop. You know, we're looking at the chat log and not what I'm doing. No, I, I boop, 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 boop. Right, this isn't a part of that. It's just thrown smack in the middle. But if it's reason. above it, it's still not part of it. Right. So but why does it matter whether it's above or below it's it? It's about just the way it looks and trying to find it. It looks fine. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just, as you've got these variables here, just because this variable has more else if stuff in it, why does that make it something that should go up above it? Because it's a function. Nothing else is a function. So therefore, so you're saying all functions need to go in one spot, no, 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 and no, no, all no, no, not no. functions need to go no, somewhere. No, 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 so you no, see no, why no. I'm not understanding what I you're saying. You're, I, I, here's the problem: is that you don't, I don't think you get what you're doing. That's good. It's got the con down too. The reason it's bad is because you might use that function in other places too. But so. Right. So here's the thing. Okay. All right. We could. You could get rid of this, stop declaring the function, put the output, instead of returning, just print. Okay. Right? That wouldn't change your output of your program at all, right? Okay. You understand? No. Yeah, don't, don't say understand. okay if you don't understand. I don't understand why that makes it something that needs to be separate. Look. look. It doesn't. I'm, I'm telling you something else. Scratch everything. Ready? Okay. I'm going to bring you along a line of reasoning. Okay. Okay. First I'm, off, I'm, I'm take sorry. off your headphones. Why am I wearing my headphones? I, I do this every time. I know. It's ridiculous. Okay. I have headphone problems. So, we do this, we undo this, and instead of all of these returns, because it doesn't know what a return is, because it's not inside of a function anymore. So it doesn't know what a return is. You just say print. Print. And it would do the same thing. Right? If this, yeah, because it's just if else statements then. Okay. So why are we making a function here? Because it puts it in a nice tidy box. No. 
Because no. we want to change the imports. No, we could do that. We could do we that. We could do that. Well. We do. We're doing that here. We change the inputs every single time. There's and a I don't know why we're making it a function. Okay. The point of functions. Pops, are you trying to try to stab my feet? Listen, you got. You're almost there. Hold on a second. Okay. Right. So, so, so you're not. You're not doing. There's no reason for this to be a function except if you were going to call it over and over and over again, like, like they're saying in the comments. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and and but that means that this is a separate piece out of the code. Do you see where where in here is prompt? It's nowhere. You don't see it anywhere here. That's because it's a function way far away. Okay. Right. Sure. So. And, and, and console.log. It's a function, a part of console, and console is way far away. Okay. You're making a function here. It doesn't have to be here in code. In fact, it shouldn't be. It's way far away. Okay. And you need to call it as a part of this. So what you actually want to probably do is pop this like up here. This would be more tight. Okay. Why? All right, so basically, if it's a function, I need to keep it the hell away from anything Your else that's not a function. chunk of code. You should. You don't want to interject it. making functions in the middle of something. But really what should be happening, and I don't know why they didn't have me do this, this should be up here. Declare your function. You're making a function. It's called choice one, compare. Choice two, it's, you're compare. sending choice one, choice two. It does the whole thing, and it returns stuff. Now your main program starts. Okay. So should we hit submit and see if it totally. likes what you've done? Yeah. Or if there's a pro some weird problem with it? Unexpected totes and outs. Did you delete something else? No, I did not. Things? Hold on. Hold on. Let's look through. So now now you got a mess. And you got to figure out why there's a mess. Unexpected token outs. Oh, I see it. It's down here. Uh, nope, that's as good as... Nope, that's not it. Token outs. There's only so many else's. This one's got brackets. This one's got brackets. I've been trying to be really good with my brackets. This might be something else. What do you mean? Did I forget a semicolon somewhere? That's always very possible with me. Hmm. First off, you should probably tab this out properly so you can tell like what's going on. Does that mean these are all tabbed out? This one's the else's in the wrong place too, then, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so if else if I don't know what I'm looking at, so it's kind of like a two-year-old else if. Writing on a piece of paper diagonal. That goes to down to there. The lines are for. Are these spaces not? Okay. All right. That goes to this one. This one is part of that one. That one's to this one. Oh, okay. Ah, that's what your problem. What? This, you can't do it else and then an else if. You do if and then else uh, and then it started an else if. Then I need to start a new if. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta make sure your logic is correct. You got, this is, this is going like that. This is where all these are tabbed out to. See, if you keep the tabs separated, you can easily see where. Oh, oh, the else if isn't in the right. Location? Nope. We gotta think about what's in, going on inside of those and figure out if what to do. If choice one is equal to choice two, return this. Else, do this. Else, if, do this. Oh, so this. Oh, this else if is happening inside of the else instead of the if. Is that what's happening? Oh, 
have to worry about what's happening. You need to figure out what it's supposed to be. It's rock. You can't have an else in after an else. What? Do you, okay, maybe you didn't understand what no, I'm no, saying. No, no, no. I get that. And what I'm saying is if this is this is inside of this else, and it shouldn't oh, be, where maybe, does it go? Oh, okay, I know. That's what I'm trying to I'm trying to put where it goes. It's missing a thing. You wanted to end it. That's what you wanted, right? Probably. See, that's why I'm saying you got to think about what you're trying to accomplish. Don't worry about what uh, it currently looks like or what's wrong with it. You need to be like, boom, 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 boom. Well, I thought I was trying to figure out what's wrong with it. You're using In order words. to figure out what's wrong with it, you have to understand what it's trying to accomplish. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Make sure you know what it's trying to accomplish so that you can figure out what's wrong with it. There's just so many brackets everywhere. It's hard to keep track of everything. That's why you got to tap in the object. But I don't understand. The placement of the tabs doesn't help me understand very much either. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, I mean, I get it. I just. Then I'm not why used to it. That... It doesn't mean much to me yet. You know what I mean? It begins here. That means the next chunk of it, it should actually end here. This is going to be the closing bracket. If, it begin, if you, you, you start with this if, all of these else ifs here are part of that one if statement. And then that ends the if statement. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is your function at the beginning that starts here and ends here. Okay. This if statement is all contained inside of this one else if, and I know that it has two parts. One does this, one does that. See, it's, it gives you a visual cue. Okay. I'm just, it's just try, try looking very confusing to me still. I will learn as I go. This is definitely. Problem with syntax. Probably misspelled token. something. No, no, no. That says unexpected token. What is a token? All these things are talking. This, this, it found this. Oh, it shows and it was that. Like, what is that? Why is this here? Um, so, so. Oh, there's okay. A, you're pushing me aside know, instead of letting me try to find the thing, right? I need to look for one of these that doesn't have a home. That isn't necessarily the problem. Oh, it's not. Not necessarily. Well, this may one be the problem. doesn't seem to have a home. Except that it goes to the top of the function. But it doesn't. Do you see how it's not highlighting a thing? This one highlights that thing. This one's an extra. If I delete that, it should be okay. Okay. No. Just don't don't do just. But that's what just, I'm. You gotta think about where these things go. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So look, that means that this is like that. This is like that. You added that one on before. Because it didn't have that one. Okay. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Just. I just was like, you just, you just, I feel like you're just flailing at it, and I want wasn't. you to think about it. I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't flailing at it. I saw that that one didn't have a thing, or had a thing that it didn't, whatever it is. Pepper! Okay, let's see if that works. Paper wins! I won! It worked. It works! Wow, that's awesome. Oh. <sighs> That's so weird. Okay, so this one's not, yeah, that one was just attached to absolutely nothing. It was just an extra one. So then, does this, so then there's a gap here because this Yeah, those all is all back. back. You move these forward and they didn't need to be. They should actually have been here. Like this, right? Yes. So then these are all on the same tier, kind of. Yeah. All right, cool. <sighs> Sorry, that was you got, exhausting. Oh, yeah. We're also both really tired, so. I'm not tired. You're not? Well, I'm, I'm tired. I'm not tired. I just, okay. I'm done for today. I've been up for a while and worked a bunch. Yeah. All right. Okay, so this is literally, this is rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Wish it let me just run it again right here so I can. I mean, that's what this does? Yeah. Uh -huh. I can. I can do it again. The rock. Let's see if I win. Oh, the computer did paper. Well. Uh. 
uh, if you wanted to make it super more complicated, you could make it tell you whether or not the computer wins or the... That's really complicated. They might do that later, too. It's possible. Um, so, let's see what's next. Do you want to do more Unity stuff? Oh. It says there's next steps. But I don't know what those are. Oh. What if the user makes an inappropriate choice like dog? <gasps> what if a user makes a dog? Let's try dog. Dog. Scissors. Dog. Computer says scissors. How can we extend the function to handle dog? Uh, so basically, that would just mean I'd have to create some sort of if if choice one does not equal rock, scissors, or paper, then do this. Return your stupid person who can't follow instructions or something. What if players in the game could also choose rope? Ho oh, ho! And this version, if both players make the same choice, the game returns a tie. What if the game didn't end there, but instead ask both players for new choices? Ooh, yeah, you could make it looping. That's cool. I like that they inject some little, like, hey, you can keep this going kind of deal. Alright, yay! This is cool. So, you said that you had a thing you wanted me to do? Yeah, you want to do that? Sure. Ooh, the next course is Introduction to Four Loops. Mm. What are those? Loops. Loops. Apparently there's multiple different kinds of loops. Yeah, there are. Cool beans. Um. All right.